Hello everybody, Math Pikachu here, and welcome back to more Drawn to Life. In the last episode, we explored the Cory Jungle, we brought back the page for the Cory Trees, and then we restored those trees to the Secret Beach, which apparently everyone knows about now, because there's a party going on there right now. Like, the mayor knows about it, Jowie knows about it, Heather knows about it, everyone knows about it. Soon that place is gonna be poppin'. But anyway, we gotta leave Swagtown, my beautiful creation. As the creator, I am most proud of the creation of Swagtown. Because it is one of the coolest places ever. What can I say? So we're on Angle Isle now. We're gonna do some geometry. But before we do that, we gotta draw... We gotta draw a clam. Let's do it. Alright, so we have a beautiful clam, and this clam is going to launch us to new heights. <laughs> this clam launches me higher than the hopes I have for my future. How about that? So anyway, got to erase this goo here. It is staining this beautiful beach house. And I want to buy some property here, so we can't have all this. I mean, I'm the creator. Don't famous people have, like, beach houses and stuff? And as the creator, I'm probably the most famous person to these Raposa. So I need at least one beach house. And this looks like some good property right here. So anyway, these shadow demons are har harassing this little kid who's trapped in a cage. This is child endangerment. I need to stop this once and for all. Found Indy's son. I'm free! You're awesome! I might be young, but I can still adventure with the best of them! Oh my gosh, there needs to be an anime about that guy. A young Raposa adventuring, growing in friendships and his fabulous skills. That would be great. We need a Raposa anime, guys. I gotta pitch that idea to some studio. I could see that being big, big time. I mean, there's anime for, like, Pokemon and... Uh, what's that other big one in Japan right now? Uh, Yokai Watch. So why can't there be a Raposa anime? Dude. I just come up with the best ideas while doing this playthrough, don't I? So anyway, we gotta have this clam launch us skyward. And then epically fail at going onto the ledge. Seriously, you wouldn't think it would be that hard to get onto the ledge, but... I, I have some mighty, mighty great struggles with it sometimes. So yeah, we are descending to the bottom of the sea once again, and we gotta deal with these scuba, scuba dooby dudes that are just scuba doing around. Oh no, what is this? It's an anemone, an anemone. Don't hurt yourself, kid. Alright, so keep your... Keep your friends close, but your anemones, anemones, closer. See, I can't even say it. I understand your struggles now, Nemo. I understand. So there's an anchor down there. I wonder if the Titanic is around here somewhere. Oh no, it's just another one of these things. Swim away, swim away. I can't swim away. The force field is too strong. All right, how do I do this? Let me go! No! It just ate me. Oh, that did not feel good. I was not planning on getting eaten today, but lo and behold, it happened, so... Anyway... Come on, clam. Do your thing. There we go. Oh, there's a little sand castle right there. Ooh, and there is template numero uno. And uh-oh. Did I, did I not rescue a Raposa because he's in the middle, which is where the second one usually goes. So did I miss one? I don't feel like I did. Oh great, this is gonna make me paranoid now. Alright, so there's a gigantic heart over there, but I don't know if I should get it or save it for when I actually need it. So there's a secret, we found one of the secrets. And, oh, another Raposa. Wow. 
Maybe this is the first one, since he's he looks like the main dude. You found Indy! I'm free now, let's get out of here! Man, I can't believe I found Harrison Ford. That is so cool. Alright, so now I'm gonna go this way. And yeah, he was the first one, so... Whew, no need to worry about that anymore. Not that I was stressing too much about it, but, you know. So anyway... Those sandcastles keep reminding me of Sandy Gast, a new Pokemon that's based on a sandcastle. Oh man, did I did I do that or did he just kill himself? Because suddenly a suddenly a Baki corpse was just falling from the sky, and I don't know. I think I'm gonna be scarred a little bit after seeing that. Might have to make mark this episode as having graphic content because, oh, man. So anyway, we gotta hide in the weed. Uh oh, the shadow fish. He, he's looking pretty sly. He was trying to get me. But he didn't. Thank goodness. Alright. Ah! You know, these are probably my least favorite enemies in the whole game. They're just so irritating. Although it is true, I have not gotten to the... Ow! Jeez, what did you do that for? It is true, I have not gotten to the boss level of this water world. And considering how hard the tree guy was, Deadwood, I'm sort of afraid to see what this next one is going to be like. Alright, come on clams. Do your thing. Whoa! That was a very preemptive, uh preemptive spring, but thankfully I made use of it. So two templates, two Raposa. We are we are making great time, guys. Great time. I'm liking this a lot. Alright. Gotta keep up the pace. We can't slow down. Never slow down. Never ever. Ah. We have to go this way. See what awaits us here. That's a nice shallow little area right there. I hope it doesn't breed mosquitoes. Ooh, I have to draw a trident. Ooh, let's do it. All right, so now we have a lethal weapon or I guess we don't really use it as a weapon, we just sort of do that and then the water comes up. So yeah, we don't get to impale anybody with our awesome spear, but it's okay. Even though I would have loved to impale one of these Baki. Wow, what has this game done to me? It's made me a violent psychopath. That is not good. And it's weird, even though this is not underwater, I keep thinking it is underwater. Just because of the, the color of the rock, I guess. Here comes the water. Alright. That's all I needed it to do. So yeah, I was just thinking about those other abilities that I bought from Isaac's shop. Uh, someone commented that they're useless. Which, I kind of figured because... I think it's only in the second one that you get, like, different abilities that do different things. Is it in the second one where you get to draw different forms for yourself and then you get to, like... Like, you get to draw yourself a blob form and then you get to squeeze in between things? I think that's the second one. So, yeah, the abilities that I got, like the flip and stuff, I guess they don't do anything. I'd have to... I'd have to read the Drawn to Life Wikipedia to see what their actual purpose is, but I don't know. All right, there's another template. But yeah, um, I know this this playthrough is going really slowly, and that uh, it might be too early to even talk about it, but I kind of wanted to do the second one as well, because how can I do the first one and not do the second one? So I was thinking about when this one is done, Jumping into Drawn to Life, the next chapter. 
That might be a summer project. If I'm even around this summer. I'm still not certain about what is going to be going on this summer. Depending on how things go, I might try to apply for an internship. Which would mean I probably wouldn't be able to do as many videos. But, you know, it's still up in the air. I'm not really sure. Alright. So, you know, these Baki down here, they they have construction hats so on, so they're the land Baki. What happens when I fill, fill this cavern up with water? Do they magically gain scuba gear, or am I just, like, drowning them? Because that would be, be pretty morbid. But you know what, I'm not gonna think about it, because I just found an old guy! You found Indy's dad! Still got one more adventure in me! To the well-organized mind, death is but the next great adventure. It's probably not the best quote to say to that guy, but, you know... Oh man, <laughs> there's the last template is just sitting there. Wow, that seems kind of cheap. It's just like, there's no obstacles or anything. It's just like, there. So I have to draw a whale copter. What? A whale copter. Oh my gosh. If you've ever seen the Steven Universe, they have like a dog copter. I did not know this game had a whale copter. That is so awesome. I'm flying on a whale. What the heck? Who even thinks of this kind of thing? This is so cool. It's much better than the other things that I've had to ride on in this game. All right, let's connect, collect as much moolah as possible. Ooh, and a life. Goodness knows I need as many of those as I can get. Oh, this is very, this is very, like, relaxing. I'm just flying on my mint green whale and collecting secrets and money and it's, it's all good. It's just peaceful. But sadly, our ride has come to an end. But we are at the doorway that leads us onward. Onward and forth into our next great adventure. So one, two, three, four, and the lock drops off the dough. Yeah, door doesn't really rhyme with... What am I talking about? Door does rhyme with four. Wow. I'm dumb. I don't know, I don't know what is wrong with my brain today. I can't even think of rhymes. Can't even recognize what does rhyme. And, oh. For like the past three, I've only gotten two of three secrets. Man, that is shameful. I need to collect all the secrets in this next level. Alright, so we saved Harrison Ford and his family. Who are you? Heh, <laughs> the name's Indy. Adventurer extraordinaire. The famous Indy? Uh, I... Uh, you're my hero. Get in line, kid! I've been everywhere. Never in as much trouble as the Angler Isle, though. Then this thing comes running through and rescues us. It would be nice to relax for a while, though. Who runs this place? We have a, a mayor. Alright, kid, see you around. Dad. Son. Let's go. <laughs> His son is just so happy. Indy is the greatest treasure hunter alive. He's a legend. He even has three movies about him. How is Angler Isle? Did you bring back any treasure? Let's see, uh, I rode the whale copter. That is the only answer. I love hearing about the whale. Wait, why does it have two E's? Whaley copter? Is it Whaley copter? Is it supposed to sound like helicopter? I'd love to get a ride in one of those fancy helicopters. But anyway, one thing that was sort of confusing is how it says Angle Isle, but then everyone calls it Angler Isle. Like, which one is it? Is there an R or is there not? Stop toying with my emotions, game. Indy, is that you? Do I know you? 
You probably don't remember me. I watched you as a little rapo while your father was off on his adventures. I see. Well, th there is room in the village for us to stay a while. We'll find somewhere. All right, plus three population. And Josh, you found the village statue page. Mary told me all about the plan. Sounds like a grand idea. Let me place the page back in the Book of Life. Oh yeah, it's my f this is probably going to be my favorite part of the game. Indeed, there is an open house near the observatory. You can take your family there for now. Thanks. <laughs> what was he just doing? I've been searching for the village for the perfect spot to place the statue, and I think I found it. Meet me north of the forest gate, near the village stage. I'll be along the main path. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot about the village stage. Has anything even happened there since, uh, like, I totally beat down Navy J in that rap battle? Oh, look at Heather. Just have to talk to her every time, even though she doesn't say anything. So yeah, by the village stage, uh, um, where you at, Mayor? Oh, there you are. Ah, Josh, welcome. What do you think? This is a fine spot visible to everyone. I wonder what the creator will design. <laughs> yeah, let's see what the creator will design. Oh my gosh, I can't. I just can't. A truly monumental statue. Great pun, sir. The nice statue, I feel inspired. What is he looking at? The greedy miser. They will burn the Banya order. Oh man, they're still going at it, I see. Come on, Isaac, go, go talk to him. Work it out, you're adults. Mary, you should let them both calm down. It's statue though. Oh my gosh, it is truly a work of art. Hey kid, nice statue. Josh tells me that you've been looking for treasure at the beach. Have you found anything? Er, no. Come with me, I'll give you some pointers. Josh, could you please keep an eye on Jowie? New task, find Jowie. He just said where he was going. He's going to the beach. He's gotta get some pointers on treasure digging. And it's sort of funny that he said that spot is visible to everyone. I mean, it's kind of shoved off in a corner. But whatever, who am I to judge? I've not studied statue placement. So yeah, we gotta find Jowie. Went off with his celebrity, his celebrity crush here. So you've dug around this area? Yeah, nothing. Hmm. What's behind these clouds? I don't know, we can't get past them. The creator has to clear them first. My instincts say we'll find something back there. Can you ask the creator to clear the clouds? Hmm. Uh, creator, can you clear the darkness? Aw, oh, yeah, it's my favorite part of the episode when we tap on the eternal flame. So let's go find it. Oh no, I'm stuck behind this pot. I'm just running into things everywhere. <laughs> running into pots and lampposts. Here we go. Your wish has been granted, Jowie. We're gonna clear away the darkness on that part of the island and see what lies beyond. Oh my gosh, this game is basically like Moana. Because in Moana, the darkness like is going to the islands and she has to stop it. Man. Moana is just like, Moana is based on Drawn to Life. That should be a game theory, or it can be like a game theory and a film theory combined. 
because it's about a film and a game. Come on, Matt Pat, you gotta do it. You gotta do that one. All right. So how do I even reach that? Blech. There we go. I don't really know why I said bleh. It's not like that really helped me any, but yeah. All right. Come here. Wow, there's a house with electricity that has been hidden behind the darkness all that time. Take a look. Whoa! It's a ship! Told you we'd find something, kid. Rappo, a pirate ship! What's it doing out there? I'm not sure, but it's too far out. We can't get to it. It's too far out. Maybe the mayor has some more information. Josh, could you ask the mayor about the pirate ship? Um, yes, I suppose I could do that for you. Alright. But how would the mayor know anything about it? I don't know. Alright, mayor, lay, lay it on me. Lay, lay all that information about pirate ships on me. There is a legend, but I never thought it to be true. Oh, story time! The creator designed for us a lighthouse. It was a Rappo statue with glowing eyes. The eyes would focus on an incoming ship. And the lighthouse would guide the ships in. Oh, is that the end of the story? The lighthouse disappeared. Eventually, the dock and boathouse was consumed. I'm surprised there is still a ship out there. Hmm. There was a page in the Book of Life for the lighthouse. If we could find that page, then the creator could design a new one, and we could guide the ship to the dock. Really, the dock is like... The dog is like five feet away from the ship. But anyway, we have our new objective. We have to go to the Conch Ruin, so we're going to be doing that next time.